Hi, this is Ron from the RadiologicTechnologist.com. Today I wanted to answer a question I saw on Reddit. Uh, somebody said, um, before I decided to go for radiography, I completed an associate's degree in science at my community college and planned to transfer to get my bachelor's degree in nursing. I am now one year away from having my associate's degree in radiography and I'm wondering if the degree in science is beneficial for a bachelor's degree in radiography. So the short answer to that is yes, a science degree is always more beneficial when you're heading into a science-based career, but is it essential? The answer is no, but that's not really your question. So it's interesting that you switched from a nursing uh, option to a radiography. I 100% support that since I'm from radiology myself. Although if you were interested in nursing somewhat, there's still a way to uh, meld the two together. Uh, radiology nurses are few and far between and are sorely needed in our departments. They are um, very beneficial and much needed uh, and kind of their own breed. It's hard to, you can't throw uh, just a floor nurse into radiology. Um, radiology is its own separate, it's even its own separate rotation. Um, if you get nurses that rotate, nursing students that rotate uh, through the radiology at all. Um, I have had radiology uh, nursing rotations at the larger facilities, but certainly not at the smaller ones. Um, so overall, your question is, will the science uh, background help you in your bachelor's for radiography? Yes, because you will need the life science background, the anatomy. Um, one of the things that tripped me up through my career uh, was uh, every time I went to a different school for another program or a higher degree, uh, it was the sciences that they would focus on. And for example, my uh, bachelor's degree from Arizona State had separate anatomy and physiology classes. There was anatomy 101 and physiology 101. But then when I got into my private school radiography program, that was Pima Medical Institute, um, they had a combined a &P class. So I had to, of course, repeat it there. But then I went from that private radiography program to a public sonography program. And the sonography program did not recognize the private school classes. And I had to repeat anatomy and physiology again. So. What I'm trying to say is soak up all the science you can, uh, especially when it comes to anatomy and physiology, because that's what you're going to be using as a radiographer. What's most beneficial after you learn your anatomy and physiology is your cross-sectional anatomy so that you know what you're looking at when you uh, are perhaps looking at it through the lens of a CT scan or an MRI or something else. Um, when I went through ultrasound school, if you've ever seen an ultrasound, you'll, you'll notice that things look completely different on the monitor. It's all black and white, right, or shades of gray. Um, and to the untrained eye, you can't tell what you're seeing on the screen. But if you know your anatomy and you know where your probe is, uh, where you're holding the probe with your hand, you should know what anatomy is in that area, and it's much quicker to learn the anatomical uh, sonographic images if you know your anatomy. So I hope that answers your question. It will benefit you. Your question was a bit open-ended, so if you have further questions, just post them, and I'll do my best to answer those too. So good luck.